Yeah, I mean, it was definitely challenging. I mean, anytime you have, you know, that rain and wind like that, it's definitely challenging. But, you know, it's part of our job. You know, we still got to go out there and produce. Uh, you know, we still left a lot of players out on the field. Uh, you know, got to be able to hold on to the ball and catch the ball in uh, these situations. But, uh, you know, it's still, still a great overall win for us. And, uh, yeah. You take some of those uh, turnovers that you get that uh, wet ball, tough conditions? Yeah, no question. I mean, you know, when it's out there, the ball's slick. You know, it's... Yeah, it's, just, it's not the best, you know, it's not fun, but as a running back, you got to love these games, you know, because you know you're going to be able to, t you know, touch the ball, you know, countless. So you got to be able to hold on to the ball. But, yeah, it's just a fortunate play. But, you know, like I say, you know, it's a great team win. The defense played a great game. It seemed like you guys on the left side of the line were getting a lot of big runs. Was that just the way you played tonight? Oh, yeah, the whole line was all, all exceptional, you know. Um, you know, especially in the run game, they're able to get guys, you know, um, get to the get to the second level, get to the backers and stuff like that. And it made our job easier. So now we're just having to, you know, it's one-on-one -on -one with a safety and we can win that. But, uh, yeah, it was, I mean, the push they were getting off the ball was uh, was great. Daniel, another shutout for your defense. Um, how proud are you guys to walk away with the zero on I think we're, we're a confident uh, group of guys and stuff, but we're happy that we get that shout out. But we to come back tomorrow and um, get back to work and get ready for Arizona. You guys have faced some talented backs and are going to face more. What did you guys do to have success against Lindsay tonight? Uh, we just uh, do our job and stay in our the right gap. And just we just happen to make plays. Jamal, how much does it give you guys a boost to see you guys just uh, constantly you know, get off? Uh, it's great. It helps us a lot. I mean, you know, even though we're going through, you know, the offense, we had the time we were struggling, you know, so being able to have trust in the defense, knowing they're going to go out there and get stops is huge for us. And uh, it kind of makes us want to, I mean, improve our game because, you know, they're, they're, they're setting their, you know, they're doing their job and shutting, you know, Colorado down. And, you know, for us not to be able to move the ball and, you know, be stagnant, you know, it can kind of, it kind of motivates us still, but, you know, we still need to really improve on that. But having them play at a high level that they are, it, it's it's huge for us, you know, just that confidence we have. Sorry, what message did it send to you guys when Coach Lee tries to do enough downs? I think you're up 21 nothing at that point. Um, yeah, I mean, he just, I mean, he wants us to play good. I mean, that's as a coach, that's what you want. And uh, and after that third, after we scored the first drive, we went dormant for a really long time. So I mean, he wasn't a big fan of that. And I mean, we we were, you know, we weren't satisfied with that either, you know. But so we still got to be able to go out there and continue to, you know, drive out the drive, you know, get the ball down the field and score. But, you know, like I said, kudos to the defense of uh, what they've done. Last week, uh, Coach Leach said that you guys kind of bought into the hype that was created around your team. Uh, would you guys say that's true? And if it is, do you guys think that you guys have kind of reset your focus and are back on track now? Uh, Yeah, I mean, I just feel like last week we didn't respect our opponent. We went in and you thought we was going to go in and take care of business. But... You know, it was a it was a reality check, you know, and I feel like that's what kind of what we needed, you know, humbled us a little bit. So now we're able to go back out there, you know, just play play the ball. We play ball like we did the first six games of the season, you know. Just that's just you know, hard smash mouth, air air raid, finesse and whatever you want to call it, you know, football, whatever we need to do to win. So that's what we're gonna do. But yeah, we definitely feel like we definitely needed that and uh, you know, we we responded to it well. Daniel, they, they yanked their quarterback after the first half. What, 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 what does that do for defense? Yeah. I mean, you guys were playing so well that you know, they uh, kind of had to pull a start in the game so they can play ball for them and, and replace them with someone else. Yeah, we just uh, we knew that that, uh, that quarterback, the first one that he was getting beat up and stuff. So as soon as uh, we saw that they were going to uh, get a, his backup up, and our coaches started coming up to us and they said that there's a new guy going, he's going to like get uh, struggling there, handing the ball. So every time he snapped, the ball gets out of fumble. So we just went in there and just executed our calls and just get, get in the backfield. Jamal, what have you seen from Tay Martin in practice or games that you know, makes you think that he's uh, capable of you know, that kind of game? Yeah. Um... I mean, when he came in, I remember his first seven on seven, he was going out there making acrobatic catches. I was like, oh, okay, he's going to be a good one. <clears throat> and this is you know, how he developed from then through camp, you know, and now he you know, finally able, able to have like a breakout game, you know, it's what he needed now. I'm happy for him, you know, I'm really excited. The the ceiling he, or the potential he has, you know, it's it has no ceiling to it. And so I'm really excited to see how he develops over the next couple of years. But um, it was great to see how him break out tonight and, you know, have a big game. Same question for Brandon Arcanado. I mean, this is a guy that didn't get that many reps at first in fall camp and then 
Coach Leach just said that, well, he frankly he deserved them. Well, what do you think about his, his play? Yeah, I mean, uh, Akinado, he's been there, you know. He's always been there, a really consistent guy for us. And uh, he's re really reliable. And for him, to, to see him actually get in the end zone was, you know, it was, it was huge. You know, to watch him and Tay get in the end zone was just, it was great to see that, you know, the development and all the hard work put on there actually paid off, you know, and being able to celebrate with the guys, you know, it's it's great. And so their development has been, you know, tremendous. And knowing that he's, you know, the hard work he's put in and, you know, day in and day out, it's it's great to see. Yes, good. Jamal, Jamal, were you worried about Luke Algani, you guys? Though? Yeah, for a little bit. You know, he was. I feel like he thought he was a Khalil Tate a little bit. You know, trying to <laughs> make them long runs. But uh, yeah, it was great to see him. You know, get loose a little bit finally. You know, instead of going backwards, going forward. All right, thanks, fellas. Thank you.